Hey everybody, I'm Tim. And I don't have a joke for this video. And we're coming to you with a special bonus video from our Let's Play of Return of the King. Um, this game has a lot of fun bonus content, and we decided to share some of our favorites with you. We're going to look at the actor interviews of the actors who actually appeared in uh, Return of the King. Yeah, we, uh, we figured that, uh, you know, kind of as, I don't want to say reward, because you could honestly just skip all the other videos and watch this, or maybe you were trolling the internet and have been looking for these videos forever and couldn't find them, so we thought it was important to get, to get this, this, you know, national treasure, national treasure, incredible quality interviews out there into the world for everyone to see. Yeah, so we're just going to start with these interviews, start with some Christopher Lee, and uh, shut up and let you enjoy. Yeah, because this is all about Lord of the Rings. So thanks for watching, uh, and enjoy these interviews. Yeah, thank you. The world is changing. Who now has the strength to stand against the armies of Isengard? And Mordor. What I'm doing today is I've been providing the voice of Saruman in the game. The Saruman, the White, was the head of the Order, and he thinks that he can be the Lord of the Rings. We must join with Saruman. The power of Saruman lies in his voice. None can contend with the will of Saruman. He's not just a wizard who can do extraordinary things. He can convince the most unlikely people. This is the impression, you see, that he gives. All powerful. Do not let him speak. He will put a spell on us. It's rather like chess. But you know, if you do the right things, you will beat me. If you do the wrong things, you are the losers. <laughs> I will draw you, Saruman, as poison is drawn from our wound. I am on the summer's day the headquarters in England of EA, where I've been uh, adding my voice to the game, which uh, people can now play. It's a curiosity of uh, Gandalf that there are many of us. There's me, but then when we was making the film, there was my double. And there was the stunt Gandalfs, the ones who did the fights in the twirls. And then there's the digitalized uh, Gandalfs, who uh, are sometimes seen in the crowd scenes in the film. Then there's the Gandalf of this, um, this game. Gandalf is 7,000 years old, but he can do the most remarkable things, and uh, he's still got a, a spring in his staff. And I only wish that Gandalf in the film had been quite as agile as, as Gandalf in the game. Maybe uh, the wisest of you will choose to be Gandalf. Uh, maybe the most perceptive of you. Isn't Gandalf everyone's favorite character? Well, I know he's mine. Sadly, I excel at your game. If you can't be in the movie, you might as well play the game. It's the next best thing. Mordor. The one place in Middle-earth we don't want to see any closer. It's the one place we're trying to get to. It's just where we can't get. Let's face it, Mr. Frodo. We're lost. There's a lot in the movie where Sam is, the character himself, is very, um... He gets sad a lot. He's there's a kind of comic relief element. His goodness and his decency is what makes him heroic, and his his bravery in the face of great danger. I'm going to Mordor alone. Of course you are. And I'm coming with you. But because the game is sort of an action war game, the aspect of Sam's character that really comes through in the game is the kind of heroic fighting Sam. <laughs> I get to really go and fight the orcs instead of having to, you know, pull up from stabbing them because it's a stunt guy who you don't want to hurt. You really feel like you're inside the movie, driving the movie. When I actually, for the first time, had a controller in my hands, I was looking at a very realistic likeness of myself. It's awesome. Then it reminded me of, of filming the scenes. It looked exactly like where we were filming on the sets, and it was totally interactive. I think the game is incredible. One ring. One ring to fight them. One ring to bring them all. The darkness fight. Ah. 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 Ah.
the one that was really weak and burdened by the ring. And in this, I get to take Frodo on some adventures that he didn't actually get to go on. I'm a playable character now. That's the best. Yes! Frodo's style of combat's kind of it's a little clunkier. It's not as, it's not as finessed as Aragorn or certainly Legolas would be. It's a little meat and potatoes kind of fighting. Very straightforward. It's really cool to, to sort of be able to take my character from the film and to be able to kind of implement that into the game is, is pretty awesome. I shall take up this terrible task. Choosing Frodo, you're also choosing the ring bearer, so that's pretty cool. I'm, I, I'm kind of biased. <laughs> Well done, you finished the game. But not really. You've just unlocked all these other characters. One of them being me, Pippin. So now you can take me and Mary and anyone else to places that they didn't actually go to. Like Osgilia or Paths of the Dead. Yeah, take Pippin to Paths of the Dead. Let's see what would happen if he went there. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Pippin in the movie, he's not a warrior. He's not, you know, he's a, he's a hobbit who's, who's kind of caught up in all this. But in, in the game, you get to see what Pippin would be like if he was a warrior, you know. I'm really looking forward to kind of going to Pelennor Fields and all that as Pippin. Hopefully, everybody will have a go at Pippin. I will challenge everything. Pippin's great. Pippin's what it's all about. <laughs> Congratulations on finishing the game. Very, very well done. You got there a lot quicker than I did. It took me about three and a half years to finish it. But excitement, crazy, crazy excitement. You've now unlocked two other characters. You can take Merry or Pippin, and you can go on any storyline you want. You could go and hang out with Shelob for a while. You could go with Faramir and, you know, see what his journey's like. You could hang out with Gandalf because he's very protective and he feels like a father to you. Maybe you have issues about that. You can do anything you want. You can go anywhere you want with, with Merry and Pippin. So this is now our treat to you as a gamer. Well done. I think we might have made a mistake leaving the Shire, Pippin. In the Shire, you know, Merry looks kind of sweet and approachable. <laughs> As when he wears his war outfit, it looks kind of scary. I think the people who would choose to play Mary as a character in, in this game would be more of the highly intelligent people in the world. Yeah, how'd you like those apples? You got them, you got them. The hobbits kind of fight with their hearts, first and foremost. And he's an opportunist fighter. He's someone who, uh, you know, comes to the table with not an awful amount of physical strength, but is, is wily and has a bit of guile and intelligence. Probably one of the greatest computer-generated characters of all time. What did they steal? <laughs> Gollum for me was like a, a, a major addict who who just needed to need his fix, and he was like kind of a junkie, ring junkie. <laughs> Because we're using motion capture a lot, um, and the animators are watching my performance closely on screen and mapping the, the, their animators, the keyframe animators are, are matching every expression. His whole facial structure and the way that his face moves is based on, on the way mine does. So it goes through three processes. I shoot on set with Elijah and Sean, and we act all the scenes together. And then I work in the motion capture studio repeating every single scene. And then I do the final voice track. Yes, precious. The voice was was really um, born out of two things. One was trying to find a, a psychological root into why he speaks like that. But actually, in physical terms, it it, it came from cats. It came from we had three cats at home, and uh, they do this incredible kind of convulsion where they when they cough up fur balls and they kind of go yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, and that and so that really became how. I've not done any ADR yet for the, for the actual film, so, so it's actually quite, you know, I'm getting my head back into thinking, okay, you know, this is obviously taking a parallel journey, through, although through a game. 
So it was actually quite nice to sort of visit where I'm going to be going for the film. It's probably, you know, an unusual way of doing it, where you do the, do the voice voiceover for the game before you actually do the ADR for the film. He takes the precious and will be the master. Faramir, Prince of Gondor, was one of the few men who withstood the power of the ring. But Faramir and Boromir were brothers, and it isn't beyond possibility that Faramir went to Rivendell instead. And if that happened, Faramir could have survived and returned to Gondor. Now we're going to explore this fact by unlocking the character of Faramir. See for yourself what else he might have done during the War at the Ring. Good luck. Game players should unlock Faramir first because he's a character who is in possession of multi skills. He's a great swordsman, a great archer, he's also a great thinker. One should head for Faramir first. Yes. Faramir's style of combat in the game extremely energetic. It's relentless. It's um, high energy, high high voltage action. The game itself has totally captured the excitement in all aspects of the film Return of the King, and I don't think you can ask more than that. Well, Elijah's a pretty good gamer. The best player would be Elijah. Well, this is where I get to, to pat myself on the back. I'm definitely a better gamer than the two of them. Yes! Elijah has this in, insane ability of being able to just uh, grab hold of a console and go through a game. I've actually made the, the controller float, and without touching anything, I've managed to play the game. It's only happened a few times, but... I've only been seriously gaming now for probably three or four years. And he's doing very well, uh, but I'm still a much more experienced gamer. But I'm getting there. I can beat Elijah a few games now. I am certainly a lot better than Dom. Ah! Dom, who, you know, talks a good game. Oh, look at me go, I'm on fire now. He said, I'm getting so good at this game. I said, okay, give us it. Beat him three times in a row. Billy's getting better, but he's not great. Billy is awful. One of the worst game players of all time. I think I do have uh, a special gift for gaming. You'll be playing a two-player game, and you'll go, Billy, press X, and he'll be like, ah, hang on a minute, hey, wait, where's, which one's X? But I just haven't really opened that gift yet and giving it to myself. He's getting better, but he's not great. Billy is awful. 